to the trucking journey. I'm Trucker Jim coming to you from Laredo, Texas, and I am early into a 34 hour reset. Before we get started in all the activities in Laredo during the reset, I'm kidding, it's not really going to be that exciting. It's not like I'm going across the border. But in the last video that was titled, Is It Goodbye for the T680? Let's see, here's a card right here if you haven't seen that video yet. But I was having the dangest problem with my drives spinning and losing traction anytime I tried to back up. Whether I had a trailer or I was bobtailed, it didn't matter. It just wasn't working right. And I'm like, is it the axle? What's going on? They're not going to want to fix it. And I'm going to have to get in a new truck without a refrigerator or something crazy like that, right? Well, good news is, I'm a big dummy, it wasn't that at all. Thanks to a lot of you that commented in, in that video or on my Facebook post, but I eventually, well, let me show you. But here's where the problem was. This is the ride height control arm, I believe it's called, and it was not in the, the right position, so what had happened was my airbags were deflated. For those that you that don't know there are four airbags under each truck and these are inflated with air by the compressor that's on the truck I have a switch inside the cab that I call it dump the airbags but what that's referring to is deflate the airbags so all of this is a little lower but it is a gorgeous morning in Laredo. My coffee is fantastic. I've got the whole day off. So, uh, things are good. Not making money today, but we're gonna have some fun. People make a cool video. The truck is very dirty. And I'm pretty dirty too. I haven't showered in a few days. And I've had a nine round workout since then. I attempted to take a shower earlier this morning. I actually scheduled it with the app and everything, packed my bag, and as I was walking in and I looked in and there were seven people in front of me waiting for a shower. And I walked in, there's truckers standing around with the freaking bags and everything. And, and that's just not how I wanna spend my time. So I, I canceled it. You're able to do that through the, the app for your showers. And here I am sporting my trucker gym gear if you would like to get some trucker gym gear or maybe get it for someone on your Christmas list there is a link in the description for trucker gym apparel but this is the zip up hoodie I've had it for a couple of years it's very nice you got to keep on trucking on the back and the trucker gym logo on the front and I've been considering designing some new merchandise, but for those of you that hadn't checked it out, check out the description below and let me know what you think. There's even panties. But nobody's ordered Truck and Jim panties. But there has been a few t-shirts and hats, and I do appreciate your support. Unfortunately, I didn't get any footage of my tires spinning and losing traction because, you know, I was inside and I'd have to set up a tripod and all that. And that's too much of a pain in the ass and, you know, it could be a a safety hazard trying to pull all that off. So I don't have that. But what it was doing, drivers, and I'm mainly saying this for like new truck drivers or people getting ready to start, and all of these tires don't have power to them. As far as when we hit the accelerator in there, I think there's only like one of them that actually pulls or reverses. On this truck anyway, it would be a lot better if all of them moved, but that's not the way it works. And when that airbag was low, and I guess the tire height and everything, it just threw it off and I did not have good traction. So if that ever happens to you, you'll know the airbags are deflated if they're not hard. Like you can, they're, you can totally tell when they're inflated versus deflated. You know, the front of the trailer just, I don't know, it looked a little off. And that was the reason the airbags were deflated. But people, I've got a story for you that's going to warm your heart. People say nobody helps nobody anymore. Well, people, truckers still do. Okay, I had my airbag problem, right? And I didn't figure it out by myself. Uh, I, I didn't take the knowledge from your Facebook and YouTube comments or refer to the manual to fix it myself. That would have been good, but I did not. The previous night, I just couldn't go backwards at the loves to get in a parking spot and 
I just left and then I ended up parking at, at a way station and I left from there but I stopped at a rest stop and pulled through wasn't quite as straight as I needed to be so I pulled through a little further so I could back up well at that time a trucker was walking by and you know I'm having my problem you know backing up but you know it's catching because I'm on pretty flat ground and it backs on up and I see him looking at and he comes walking up and this is a Mexican truck driver hauling used cars on a car hauler he speaks no English none at all I speak no Spanish other than like amigo and adios I have none of this on camera I don't have his picture because my phone and my pocket camera in the truck at the time but we were at the back and he got down under there and got to messing with that ride height control arm we heard air pressure inflated the airbags and I have been good to go ever since gracias my unknown amigo truck driver so that was pretty cool I thought you guys would want to know about it but since I've got a little time off and I've flown the drone this morning and we've talked about this I'm gonna hop in here do a little editing and decide do I want to wash the truck first or wash my ass I'm not sure which yet I haven't decided but I do need to wash both now it's been a long time since the truck's been but one thing that helps me in between showers is baby wipes it is not great to be riding around smelling like ass and balls to prevent that get you some baby wipes now if you're into the cocoa butter and the spring scent by all means do it I generally get the unscented but these are great for doing a, a quick little cleanup you know in the ass and balls but it's also good you know to, for your face and things like that when you can't get to a, a shower or a sink at, at night and things and it's very easy to let that stuff go it's very easy not to brush your teeth as a truck driver it is I, I know for normal people that you know you're in the routine that you get up you go to the bathroom you take a, a leak you know you brush your teeth same kind of thing at night in the truck it's a little different you may have to make a conscious effort and if you don't you're gonna lose some teeth it happens especially when you have a Reese cup addiction like trucker Jim eat Reese cups and then go to sleep not good on the teeth but that's the health tips from trucker Jim in this episode now let's go get a truck wash so much better now that it's clean I appreciate all of you watching this episode uh, please feel free to leave a comment drop a like share with a friend but if you are not subscribed you may wanna because there's some cool stuff but hit the red thing hit the bell this is probably my favorite time of day right before it gets dark it feels great out here the lighting's cool but we're wrapping this up and I'll see you next time. Till then, be safe out there and keep on trucking.